Good morning! Hello, second grade students from all over Costa Rica. Welcome to Learning at Home. Bienvenidos y bienvenidas a Aprendo en Casa. It's me, Teacher Graving. Remember me? Yeah? Okay. Welcome once again. How are you today? Are you good? Are you fine? Are you excited? Yes? Okay, awesome. Now, welcome once again. Today we're going to have a great class. Are you ready to explore, learn, and have lots of fun? Well, this is the right place to be. I'm sorry, but Chuli is on vacation. He, um, she couldn't come today, but we have a new classmate today. Let's listen to her. Woo, woo. <gasps> Who is she? Let me see. Hello, young lady. What's your name? My name is Zoe. Zoe. Wow. Yes, it is Zoe in Spanish and Zoe in English. Very good. So you mean Zoe in Spanish and Zoe in English. Wow, that's cool. Very nice. Welcome once again. Would you like to say something to your classmates? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Okay, very good. Um, I have a question for you. Did you wash your hands already? No. Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Ariel, did you wash your hands? No. Daniel? Brianna? Gabriel? Sara? Did you wash your hands? No. Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Please go and wash your hands. In hurry, please, because there is no time. Today we are going to watch some videos and listen to some songs from YouTube in order to learn English. Those videos and songs are used only for educational purposes. El día de hoy escucharemos algunas canciones y veremos algunos videos que fueron tomados de YouTube para aprender inglés, los cuales serán utilizados única y exclusivamente con fines educativos. Okay, you washed your hands already? Let's start. Zoe, do you have to say something to your classmates at home? Yes, I would like to invite all the parents. Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, grandfather, grandmother, everybody, please come here. Okay, you're inviting the whole family to come here and join us. Okay. Now, um, I have a question for you, Zoe. Do you remember what we learned last week? Yes? Mm, kind of. Okay. Now, I'm, we are going to watch a video about an animal. And you have to pay attention, Zoe, and you at home have to pay attention to the name of the animal, the color of the animal. Uh, what else? Maybe the size of the animal, if the animal is big or little. The sound this animal make, um, this animal makes. And also, where does this animal live? Okay, let's take a look at this video. Ready? Here we go. Let's take a look at this video. <laughs> Okay, ready? Okay, Zoe, we're ready. Now, did you pay attention to the video? Let's check. Was it a fish? Is it a horse? Is it a sheep? Is it a mouse? Is it a rooster? Maybe a bird? Is it a dog? Is it a pig? Okay. Well, it was a cow. Very good. It was a cow. What color was the cow? 
Was the cow red? No, it was white and black. Very good. Was the cow big or little? Mm, it was big. Very good. Um, what sound does the cow make? Can you help Zoe? What? Yes, very good. Cows moo. And where does the cow live? Does it live in a coop? In a dog house? In a pigsty? Or in a nest? Mmm, that's a really tough question. Yes. Mm, cows live in a barn. Very good. Cows live in a barn. That's the correct answer. Now, Zoe, I have some questions for you. And of course, some questions to your classmates at home. What is your favorite animal? What is the name of your favorite animal? What color is your favorite animal? Is it big or little? What sound does your favorite animal make? Mm, where does it live? Well, it's difficult. I have many favorite animals. Mm, what can we do? Mm, let me think. I know, I have an idea. What about if we invite a friend? Yes, I like special guests. Very good. We're going to invite and we are going to have a very special guest. Today we are going to have Sebastián Fonseca Fonseca. He's one of my friends and he's going to describe his favorite animal, his favorite pet. So pay attention, Zoe, to the name of the animal and the other characteristics, for example, the color. Uh, if his favorite animal is big or little and the sound it makes. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Hello, Sebastián. Good to see you. Hello, teacher Craven. My name is Sebastián. My favorite animal is the dog. Its name is Holly. Holly is beige. It is medium size. Holly likes to bark. Wow, wow, wow. Holly has only three legs because it was hit by a car. I like to play with Holly every afternoon. I love my pet very much. Mm. Thank you. See you. See you, Sebastián. Thank you very much. And thank also your family for all your help. What a nice pet he has. Right, Zoe? Yes, I loved it. Very good. And I'm sorry because of the car accident. But Holly seems to be really happy with you and your family. Thank you, Sebastián, once again. Now, Zoe. What animal was Sebastián's favorite? Mm, it was a dog. Very good. It was a dog. His favorite animal is a dog. What is the name of his favorite animal? His, uh, its name is Holly. Yeah, it was Holly. What color is Holly? Mm, let me see. It, I think it was beige. Yes, Holly is beige. Uh, is Holly big, medium-sized, or little? Uh, medium-sized. Yeah, medium-sized. And what sound does Holly make? Uh, Holly likes to bark. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, very good. Oh, and Sebastian mentioned something about his legs right? He mentioned that a Holly has only three legs because uh, it was hit by a car. But she is very good right now. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, teacher Graving, I have a question. Tell me, Zoe, what are we going 
going to learn today? Okay, that's a really good question. What are we going to learn? Okay, um, we have a presentation about today, lesson goals. Okay, so let's take a look at this presentation. Ready, Zoe? Here we go. These are today's lesson goals. Number one, Zoe, you and your classmates are going to identify main characters from a picture story. Also, you are going to name some common characteristics of animals or objects in familiar environments. And you are going to identify the sound of letter R that forms a word. Okay, ready, Zoe, here we go. Now, I have a question for you. Do you like stories, Zoe? Yes, I do. Do you like stories at home? Yeah, so do I. Good. And what about stories that include farm animals? Yeah, I love farm animals. Oh, do you like stories about farm animals? Yeah, good. And we're going to have a, a, a short story. But first, we have to pay attention to three things, okay? Before we start, we are going to clarify some verbs, some actions about animals. We are going to learn how to take care of animals. Uh, how do we take care of animals? Okay, like feed them, give them food, and also to groom them, to bathe them, okay, to calm animals. Ready? And in this story, you have to pay attention to three things. You have to take a look at the characters of this story. Teacher Graving, what are characters? Oh, character mean, um, characters mean people in the story. For example, in the story uh, in, in Frozen, the characters are Elsa, Olaf and her sister, right? Yes? Okay. And also you have to pay attention to an alien. And what is an alien? An alien is a person from another planet like Superman, okay? So pay attention to the name of the characters of the story. Also, some animals are going to appear in this story. And you have to pay attention to the name of the animals. And also, number three, you have to pay attention uh, to the action a person mm, does to take care of animals. Okay? So remember, pay attention to the characters, to the animals that appear in the story, and to the actions a person does to take care of animals, okay? So we have another presentation. Let's take a look at this presentation. Ways to take care of animals. Zoe, pay attention, please. For example, the first one says, I walk my dog. And you have to repeat after teacher Graven. Ustedes deben repetir después de teacher Graven. I walk my dog. I walk my dog. Very good, Zoe. I feed my dog. I feed my dog. I feed my dog. I like this one. Can I read it? Of course, Zoe, you can read it. I groom my dog. I groom my dog. Very good. Nice job. I take care of my cat. I take care of my cat. I want to read this one. I feed my cat. I feed my cat. I groom my cat. I groom my cat. Oh, we have, oh, very good, Zoe. This is for you and also your classmates at home. We have two pictures in one sentence. The sentence says, I feed my dog. What picture represents the sentence, I feed my dog? Picture number one or picture number two? Picture number two. Very
Very good, Zoe. I feed my dog. We have another one, Zoe. I groom my cat. I groom my cat. And we have two pictures. Oh, this is going to be tough, Zoe. That's very easy. That's picture number two. Let's see the answer. Very good. I groom my cat. Amazing. And we have a story. Good. Remember, we are going to pay attention to the characters. Who are the characters? Remember, people in the story. What form animals do you see in the story? And what actions does the farmer do to take care of the animals? Okay, Zoe, pay attention to those questions in the video. Ready? Here we go. Let's watch a video with a short story with farm animals. Pay attention to those three things, okay? Here we go. Let's Unit watch. 4, Loving and Caring for Animals. I learned about houses. Proper, you're next. Hello, I am Quopper. Hi, Quopper. How are you? I am fine. What is this? This is a farm, and these are animals. What are the names of the animals? This is a cow, and the cow says moo. Moo. Good job, Quopper. This is a dog, and this is a cat. They like you. I like these animals. This is a pig, and this is a bird. They live on the farm. Who takes care of the animals? The farmer takes care of the animals. He feeds them, grooms them, and gives them shelter. I like this farm. Thank you for teaching me. I will teach my alien friends about farms and animals. Goodbye. Bye, Quopper. That was a really nice story. Did you like it? I did like it. Did you like the story, Zoe? Yes, I did. Very good. That was a really nice story. Now, we have some questions for you. And let's see this presentation. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Let's see, Zoe. Ooh, this question is for you. Who are the characters in the story? Let me see. Mm, there was a girl, an alien, and a man. Yes, very good. And what are the names of those characters? Uh, Sonia, Quopper, and the farmer. Very good, Zoe. Sonia and Quopper. And also we have the farmer. Nice job, really impressive. <laughs> we have the next question. How many animals did you see? Ooh, that's a really tough question. I didn't count the animals. Don't worry, I'm kidding you. <laughs> okay, what are their names? Mm, there was a cat, a dog, a rabbit, birds, cows, and a horse. Let's see the answers. Yes, there, oh, there, there was a hand and a chick too. Yes, there were cows and a pig. <laughs> oh, it seems like you paid attention. Nice job, Zoe. <gasps> what animals are those? That's a dog and a cat. We had cats and dogs. Very good. Nice job. And also a bird. Yeah, we have a birdie. Little bird. And very good. In the story, there were horses and rabbit. And a rabbit. Nice job. Now we have question number three. Here we go. 
What actions does the farmer do to take care of the animals? Mm, let me see. The farmer grooms the animals and feeds the animals. Very good. Let's see the answers. Yes, he feeds the animals and he grooms the animals. Okay, nice job. Very good. Did you get all the answers at home? Did you know the name of the characters? The name of the animals? And the actions? Good job! Here we go, okay? Now, Zoe, I have a question for you. Do you like music? Yes, I like music! Hmm. So, maybe we are listening to some kind of music. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, That song is about animals. No, it's not about animals. I know, I was just kidding you. That song is about letters. Do you know what time it is? Uh-uh. Oh, it's letter and sounds time. And today we have a very special sound and letter. And it's called letter R. <gasps> That's a nice letter. I love it. Oh, very good. This letter, Zoe, it's called R, and it is pronounced R, R, okay? So today we have letter R, but first we are going to watch a video about letter R. In this video, you have to write, maybe you can take notes at home, and you have to write words that begin with letter R. Zoe. Pay attention to those words. Let's watch this video about letter R. And it's a song. I think you're going to love it. Pay attention to the video. Did you like the song about letter R? Yes, good! We have a question for you and for Zoe. What words begin with letter R? Mm, red! Yes, very good. Also, what else? Mm, rabbit! Yes. Uh, rooster! Very good, okay. Now, let's see a presentation about letter R. Ready? Let's take a look. We have letters and sounds time. And today we're learning letter and sound R and R. Okay, letter R and sound R. And you have to repeat after me. Rabbit, rabbit, rooster, rooster, red, Red! It's a color! Yes, very good. It's a color. <gasps> Look at this, Zoe. We have again three pictures. We have a rabbit, a panda, and a queen. Rabbit, panda, and queen! Yes, Zoe. What word begins with letter R? Rabbit, panda, or queen? Mm, I would say rabbit! Yes, very good! And rabbit is the answer. Nice job! Amazing job, Zoe and classmates! Good job! Okay, very good! Did you get the answer too? Did you say rabbit at home? Yes? 
Very good. Now, do you want to know how many stars you got today? How many stars did you get today, Zoe? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see this presentation. And we are going to count the stars you got today, as well as Zoe. Let's look at this presentation. Okay, let's see today's indicators. First, can you identify main characters from a picture story? Yes, like Zo uh, Zonia, Quapper, yes. Can you name some common characteristics of animals or objects? Yes, uh, the cow is big, white. Okay, can you identify the sign of letter R? Yes, like in rabbit, very good. Nice job, Zoe. Mm, I'm sorry, but do you listen a to a song? And we so what much. time is it? I'm now sorry, it's but it's time goodbye. to leave. Okay? See so, you thank you very much for joining today. It was me, Teacher Graven, and Zoe. Remember to wash your hands, wear a face mask, and see you next Friday at 8.30, Channel 4 and 11, here at Repertel. Bye bye, butterfly. See you later, alligator. Take care. Goodbye, Adrian. See you right here. See you, Adrian. <laughs> and thank you for your help. Goodbye. See you. Take care.